First, we're going to start with a bed bug inspection um, and their bed bugs. So we're going to start with the bed. They can hide in many different places, but this is their primary um, residence, if you will. So we're going to start with the bed. All you really need is a flashlight. And I'm just going to look here where these seams come together for any evidence of bed bugs. Bed bugs themselves hide very well, but they leave a lot of evidence behind. And we're going to show you some of that here today. I'm going to flip the pillows, kind of go quickly through that, see if I see anything obvious, move them gently out of my way. And I'm going to do the same thing with these pillows. What I'm looking for is dark ink droppings. Um, if, if the bed bug um, has defecated on the pillow, uh, it'll, it'll be a little black dot or it'll look like an X or a T and that's because it's a liquid and it'll run with the fibers of the weaving. So any X's or T looking black spots, um, droppings, and I'm also looking for blood spots as well. Primarily my, my vision is going here to where the seams are sewn together and that would be where a live bed bug may be found. They like to be in places that come together in between two pieces of wood uh, where um, weaving, um, uh, tubing on blankets, tubing on mattresses, etc. Now I'm going to get to the blankets and I'm going to take my eyes and again I'm going to look right where the seam comes here and that's what I'm looking at. So I'm going to look all the way down very quickly looking at the seam lines and I'm going to do that all the way around the bed. Then I'm going to take the sheets and slowly pull them up and away from the box spring. And if they're fitted sheets like these are, I'm going to stretch it out and look at where that, that fitting bunches together underneath the mattress. When it's underneath the mattress, it's like this and it creates a really nice little hiding spot for them. So you want to pay, pay a special attention to the fitted sheets and especially underneath where they bunch together when they're on the mattress. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way around with both the sheet and the mattress uh, protector. You'll notice I probably go a little faster at the foot of the bed. Bed bugs are an extremely lazy pest. And so they really like to be closest to their food source. So primarily you're going to find them at the head of the bed. Not that they can't be found in other places. Okay, now we're on the mattress. So I'm going to pull the mattress back away from the headboard a little bit. And I'm looking at, at the piping. And I'm going to lift that piping up all the way around. And again, I'm looking for bed bugs themselves or the evidence that they leave behind. Droppings, cat skins. Bed bugs love tags. So whenever I see tags on a box spring or a mattress, I'm always going to flip it that way and look in that crease that way and then that way. Coming around, I'm going to check the piping all the way around the bed. Once I've done that, I'm going to lift the mattress up and out of my way. And I pay a special attention to the piping back here, as well as under here, the bottom side of the mattress. Now this is a very detailed bed bug inspection. This is the type of inspection I would do if I was suspicious that I had them in my house. Or if there was a complaint from a hotel room, or if I'm sleeping in a hotel room, this is what I do. Okay, so again, I'm looking at where these seams come together. Looking all the way down that seam, and then I just kind of flip it over, and I'm looking on the inside of the seam. Taking it apart very slowly. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. Anywhere the, the stuff bunches together, the, the material bunches together, you wanna to take a good look there. Now you have not done a bed bug inspection unless you've looked at the bottom of the box spring. I'm gonna take a quick look at this piping. This is nice light material. Any droppings or evidence or bugs, I would probably see them very easily with that. Darker box springs can be a little bit more of a challenge. So where I'm looking under the box spring is on the corners. The corners where this, and this staple line where the staples connect this cloth material to the bottom of the box spring. If there's rips, I'm going to be looking inside the box spring, but primarily this area right here is what I'm looking at. They love, again, to get tucked up underneath here, so I'm going to fold that down, look at the entire box spring. Now, if I'm not seeing any evidence here, chances are we don't have a bed bug issue in this room. I'm also going to check behind the nightstand, and that's how I do 
a bed bug inspection for, uh, for a bedroom on the mattress, the box spring, and we'll go to the other room where they have more of a headboard that we can check into. Okay, so in this room I've already taken the sheets off. I've inspected the blankets and the comforters, and now I'm going to inspect the, the headboard. Um, the headboard is, is all wood, and they love wood. They love rough materials uh, to cling on to. Um, and so I'm looking, I'm looking specifically again for droppings, evidence of bed bugs, which I can see right here. All these little black spots right in through here, those are all bed bug droppings. And I'm just going to take a Q-tip, right, and I'm going to give it a swipe. They will smear like ink. So I know we have an issue in this room. So likely these bed bugs are living in between this piece of wood and that piece of wood. That's where they like to be. And I'm going to check that piping like we were talking about in the other room. I'm going to check all along the piping, especially towards the back. I know that this is probably a really good home for bed bugs. So they're going to be gravitating towards here. And I actually see a live bed bug right here. And see, he's going to go right back to where he's comfortable, which is right in that stitch line. And he's trying to find a spot where he can get touched on all sides and not be exposed. And so when you're doing your inspections, that's where you want to look, is right on those seam lines. That's where they like to be. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Once I found a live bug, I don't, I'm not going to tear everything else apart just out of simple curiosity of how, how many there are. Um, we don't want to disturb the bug. Bed bugs spend 92% of their lives hiding in one spot. Um, so I don't want to start flipping things and turning things. I want to do as, as little of that as possible because I don't want to disturb the bug, get them on the run, and then potentially have them hide in some place that the, that the heat's not going to get them. So once I've determined I found a live bug, treatment is on, and, and that's as far as I go with my inspection. Mm -hmm.